Okay, in this one we're going to look at Studio One's Pipeline XT and how to use our pedals, guitar pedals, pedal board or other hardware with Studio One. And first of all, I'm going to show you the physical connections I'm going to make with my Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 and then the software mixer settings and then we'll get here in the studio one and i'll show you how to set it up here from scratch all right here we go so headphone output one goes into my uh, pedal or pedal board whatever and then the output of the pedal goes into my interfaces input one there we go all right and then let's check the software mixer settings so here is my monitors and of course i want to hear what i'm doing but these are on mute so that's the physical headphone output one where we took our signal to the pedal and that is my actual headphone output so the physical output two headphone two on the focus right and what's important is we don't want to create a feedback loop and how do we prevent that well here so now we can see this is muted but we do want to keep the output of the headphone one physical output uh, to be heard and I've muted this one and in here the setting is like this and if we would have this unmuted we would be getting a feedback loop and that's not what we want all right so now that we're done with the physical connections and the software mixer settings we can get the studio one and see how the pipeline works all right, so here we are in Studio One. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mono track. And first of all, we don't wanna be creating a uh, feedback loop. So we won't be using the input one on any track. We're gonna apply the pipeline to. So instead, I'll choose none for this and then let's insert a drum loop here and I will be using this tube screamer to demonstrate how it sounds to run the pipeline through your pedals all right so here we go set that on loop and then let's go to the effects, personas. Let's get the pipeline mono in here. And let's put it on the insert. All right, here we go. So what do we want to do now? We want to go here and audio IO setup. And this will be our send. So this is the physical output into the pedal. So our headphone one output on the focus right. And that's these channels here. But we'll add a mono. And that will do. And then I'm gonna remove that one and add a couple of mono inputs. Apply. Okay. And now we'll choose our 
output tree. So the output we just created and the input is going to be our input one. And we are not getting a feedback loop since we have not chosen the input one and that's not what we want to do. And I can quickly demonstrate what that would be and it would be this. So if we choose and then that's what we'll get. Uh, if we want to avoid that, we can of course choose another input and, and then, then we, we would be, be fine. fine. And now, now we, we can, can hear my microphone. microphone. That's on input two. And if you accidentally create a feedback loop, just be prepared to turn everything down fast, every volume and mute. And you know, you don't want to damage your gear. And first and foremost, you will want want to damage your ears. All right. And then we have this. So this is for the latency. And you can do that and it fixes those issues. You can choose your own picture by clicking this here. And I've done so. And you can remove it if you want to choose something different. But now let's hear. So we have our pipeline off now. Let's put the drum loop on. So that's how it sounds like. And let's then turn on. Let's actually get all that down there. And then let's put the tube screamer on. And we can adjust these settings so we can get the levels the same. And we have the mix here. So that's uh, useful too. Let's hear that. All right, there we go. And now if we would like to print the track with this effect on, we could just go here. Oh, we clipped. Well, let's hear it anyway. So here it is. Let's put the original track on mute and then. So there we go. We have our printed track. And then let's see how all this works with the pedal board. And I'll also show how to use it as a send. So if you want, you can uh, send multiple tracks uh, to uh, your favorite reverb or whatever. So let's do that next. All right, so we got our pedal board here. Let's hear the drum loop with a flange, flanger.
and we can hear the difference already when I just put the pipeline on. So yeah, and then we have other effects too, so... All right, so then let's take the pipeline and let's make it ascend. There we go. And now we could uh, run other stuff through it as well. Let's uh, hear a guitar loop. Okay, let's take that one. None. Okay, good. And let's put that there as well. So now let's hear these tracks going through the pedal board as a send. <laughs> So, there we go, uh, Pipeline XT on Studio One, that's how you set it up and use it, and yeah, you can, you can do some fun stuff with it if you want. And uh, I hope this was helpful, if you have any questions uh, or other things on your mind, uh, just Make a comment below and I'll see if I can help. Alright, have fun. Rock on.